Future AC Gamer here. I had to re record my intro uh, just because I wanted to make a quick disclaimer. So, when I was making this video, I actually hadn't gone into the game to, you know, play through the new updates. And after doing that, after playing through the updates to have you to show you guys some gameplay, um, yeah, the game is currently very, very unplayable due to very, very huge lags that is very, very irritating. And uh, my initial goal was to play through the new events, the new updates then quit but since the game is pretty much unplayable right now i'm not gonna wait for them to fix it i am just gonna straight up disappear out of tower fantasy so i probably won't be going into tower fantasy for now like i said i will go over my several reasons in this video i will go over other factors not just saying that the game is bad because i honestly don't think tower fantasy is a bad game and uh, i will come back for the lin skin as well um, i have deleted tower fantasy off my mobile device it's still on my pc um, but I'm just going to log in to get my free skin for Lin. Then I'll probably just, you know, come back during the anniversary, which I also talked about with the rest of the video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and tell me down in the comment section if you guys enjoyed this. This has been your boy AC Gamer. Roll the clip. Hi guys, this is AC Gamer back with another video on Tower of Fantasy. So I have a little upsetting news to talk about and that is the fact that I will be quitting Tower Fantasy very very soon now i would like to say there are several factors why i am quitting the game right now i've seen a bunch of other content creators quit a while back but i've been sticking with the game i have been absolutely loving this game honestly i still love this game so much um however there is several reasons why i will be quitting so hopefully you guys can stick with this video to understand the true reason why i am quitting tower of fantasy and it's not something like tower of fantasy is a bad game it's not something like that uh it's a very very good game in my opinion it does have a bit of stuff lacking but um, yeah, hopefully you guys understand my reasoning and you guys might have your reason for sticking with the game or you're deciding to also quit as well. So yeah, let's talk about it. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe. Tell me down in the comment section if you guys agree with my uh, opinion or you disagree. Now, even though I will quit like in probably two to three weeks time, I will come back for the anniversary. I absolutely will be coming back for the uh, first anniversary of Tower Fantasy Global because then I will see a bunch of characters I really want to summon for and it would be pretty interesting to see what the game has to offer after I have quit. Now, I am currently at level 90 on my account. I am not not a whale but i'm definitely a dolphin i still have 70k cp uh i spend money to get the characters i really enjoy however the game definitely hurts you when you get when you do that now i will say this um one of the main reasons why i am currently quitting tower fantasy is because i have exams so i currently play about five gacha games or four gacha games which i absolutely think is too much uh, to spread my time within all four games or five games is just way too much and for someone with exams in school or university that is absolutely way too long especially because tower fantasy is an mmorpg game which requires you to grind out resources and too much grinding for me honestly if i do decide to spend a lot more time in tower fantasy it would mean i have to cut back on other games now tower fantasy is not the only game i will be quitting there's still a couple of ones i will be quitting now there's two games i definitely will not be quitting which is Nikkei Goddess of Victory as well as uh, Counter Side as well as Genshin Impact those are the three games right now I'm currently decided that I will never um, I won't be quitting anytime soon but Tower of Fantasy I have to get the axe because I recently just started getting into Genshin Impact a lot more and obviously you could say Genshin Impact won me over instead of Tower of Fantasy but it's not like I'm spending a lot of time in Ta Genshin Impact either all I'm doing is going in doing my commissions use my stamina and log back out so that's an essential what i do in genshin impact but with tower fantasy with new content coming out i have to grind that and uh, new gears will come out in the future as well i have to grind that new maps especially the new map we got right now i actually i haven't explored it so um this goes into another reason why i'm going to be quitting the game because i traveled recently and the internet there was trash and uh, when the update came out i couldn't download the update so for two days i wasn't able to play tower fantasy and honestly i didn't even feel i didn't really feel anything by it so i didn't really miss it so and especially because we got the new update with the new underwater map i thought that would be something i would be excited for but honestly it just wasn't i feel like the main reason why is because the underworld exploration is going to take far too long and the only items that you will get in most or abundantly of is going to be the purple nucleus that you can use to summon for pretty shitty resources so i don't feel like my time is going to be worth doing the amount of grinding or amount of exploration to get purple nucleuses and just 
yeah you know get absolutely nothing from that so as well as yes there's gonna be red nucleuses and a bunch of other items but my time the time the time spent to get all of this stuff does not worth it if you take a look at the resources you get i will be playing through the event the new update as well before i quit because i want to get all these amazing items they came out with the new events we have currently so i will play through that before i quit and then and then i will save all my resources for future um characters because when i come back for anniversary i'm hoping to have all my resources saved and then summon for the anniversary character whether that character is good or not now my last video on tower fantasy i was talking on rebellia or is it rebellious whatever her name is i was saying i was gonna save for her and pull for her yeah it's looking like i will have to skip on her and just save all my resources for the well i will be quitting so i won't even be in the game when she comes out um but i will save all the resources i have right now i should have some gameplay to show you guys or current resources i have i do have enough to get the next character or whatever character i want now one other reason like i said i like i said the reason is i didn't really miss how fantasy when i didn't play for two days and uh, honestly i felt more relaxed because i didn't really need to grind too much um another reason why i'm quitting tower fantasy is i will say this tower fantasy characters are absolutely amazing absolutely goddamn amazing characters i absolutely want to play with every single character that is upcoming so obviously we got the 1.0 characters not gonna lie they're very boring when tower fantasy came out i was not interested in any of the 1.0 characters 2.0 characters came out i wasn't too excited with them um uh, except lyra but obviously they shattered her with the amount of damage she dealt so it made me not really like her too much because honestly tower fantasy if i was summoning just to get the character i feel like i would absolutely love tower fantasy however the way the game functions and the way the game is it hon honestly makes you feel bad when you summon for the character you love because you can only get them one copy and that one copy is not going to be enough literally not going to be enough to make you use that character you're going to need about one star or one advancement you're going to need three star advancement for that character to actually be useful yes you might be able to use the skin of the character but you won't be able to enjoy the playstyle of the character using the character's weapon because you know if you use this character's weapon you're going to be dealing with less damage so therefore you can't clear content and therefore you're underpowering your account so it does not feel fun i in Initially, when I started playing the game, I wanted to summon for every character. But then I just realized that is a terrible, terrible idea. You should not be doing that. You should be saving for a particular character, then try and get them to three stars and then all one star. And then you can go ahead and use that. But especially with the new update um, showcase for the CN server or sneak peek with the 3.0 characters, there is so many characters that looks absolutely fun. But I know I can't get them. I know I can't I can't get every single one of them unless I'm gonna underpower my account. This game is the only game that doesn't reward you when you pull for new characters. Honestly, you are underpowered. You're 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 making your account feel very very weak because you're not going deep for one particular character characters in this game function with one star or three star you don't really want to get a character at a zero except certain characters but most or majority of characters function with a1 and a3 so with someone like me who absolutely loved the characters from tower fantasy way more absolutely way more than genshin impact like take a look at all the upcoming characters from tower fantasy they look way more better than genshin impact but i i know for a fact if i summon for them and i use them i'm just severely underpowering my account because um yes they might be power creep but having one copy of that character is not going to be good enough for you and uh, your account so it's not going to be beneficial for me and i feel that hurts tower of fantasy when people say waifu over meta get um tower fantasy is like hell nah hell nah you want to be dealing damage except if you can you know do content with a guild now i do also like to apologize to my guild mates for like leaving or my crewmates but i will come back for the anniversary and, and then i will try and join back with the guild uh, i doubt they will accept me because i'll be severely underpowered but if they are willing to help me get back to being very very strong when the whatever anniversary update comes out then that will be very very good because i definitely will be coming out to see which new characters the game comes out with and i honestly don't want to see news on tower fantasy because it will try and make me go back to the game and i know for a fact i will go back in pull for that character and i will only be able to use them at a, a zero and they won't be good as the characters i have then therefore i won't be using them anymore so i'm just gonna wait for an anniversary comes out have enough resources to probably max out that character enjoy that character for a bit before the next character comes out and it completely overpowers that unit and uh yeah the cycle continues um 
so yeah another reason why i'm quitting tower of fantasy but like i said it's a positive thing that tower of fantasy has some of the best looking characters ever genshin impact still hasn't improved on the character designs honestly they look like they're going down or the character animation or uniqueness of the character honestly i feel like it's going down in genshin impact um but yeah whatever so yeah i will be playing genshin impact over tower of fantasy if you guys are interested in hearing that but at the same time genshin impact i spent like five ten minutes on it not five minutes i do my dailies and that's it i am out and i keep saving my resources because i know for a fact genshin impact will release amazing characters but not anytime soon maybe it's gonna take a while maybe when fontaine comes out then they, they will release a character that i absolutely love but it's been a while since genshin impact has released a character that i absolutely 10 out of 10 love raiden shogun was the latest one and that was like a year ago and uh yeah not any new characters that have been released are pretty interesting to me or cool um, Naihida was fun because she's actually meta as well but still not cool in my opinion so that's why I honestly like Tower of Fantasy the game is fun as well my first ever MMORPG game that I actually loved so it kind of hurts to be quitting the game but like I said it's just how it has to go because I don't have time to play this game uh, Power Creeper happened a lot well every new character comes out uh, overpowers every character but behind it and it just sucks um, exploration of the world is just unrewarding at the moment with the purple nucleus just being absolutely garbage it's taken a long time for the characters that were expected to be added into the standard pools to be added and it's just taking way too long for that to happen so i'm also going to be quitting going to save all my resources i'm not going out with a bang or releasing a video where i use all my resources i'm not going to do that because i know i will be coming back on the anniversary i don't want to see any news regarding tower fantasy because the characters that i will be seeing will look so cool that i will be tempted to come back to the game every single time and i don't want that to happen i just want to wait for the anniversary to come out then i'll go back into the game and another reason well main reason why i'm saying that i will be quitting tower fantasy is also because future um open world games are coming out there's two in particularly in particular i am very interested in which is seven deadly sins origin and weathering waves both games should be coming out in 2023 and i want to have enough time to play those games and tower fantasy um well it has its issues obviously i'm not going to deny that and i'm not going to be spending any more in um, tower of fantasy but i want to be able to play in a game that i would love i love the ip obviously net marble are going to be handling seven deadly sins origin and i'm very scared to see what they do to it because it's going to be fantastic the way it looks but i'm worried about the monetization so we have to wait and see but it doesn't take away the fact that i'm still excited for both those games and i can't honestly juggle the amount of games i'm playing right now and if those two games comes out i will need to drop certain games and there is is what it is honestly um weaponry waves as well as seven daily Sins origin looks absolutely fantastic to me i'm more excited about seven daily Sins origin because i love the ip i love meliodas i want to see Escono. i want to see demon meliodas i want to be able to play as all those characters in that game and it will be something i'm very very excited for so that's why i also want to save uh well i don't want to waste time playing a game i know i'm going to quit when those games come out because i'll probably play them a lot more than tower fantasy even if i continue continue to play tower fantasy so it makes sense for me to quit the game right now whilst all this reasoning all these reasons are still here right now so yeah those are my reasons for, um, so far for why i'm currently quitting tower fantasy it's not to say i hate the game i love the characters and that's pretty much the only reason why i play tower fantasy the characters are fun the gameplay was fun um actually the combat is fun the combat is fun because the characters animations are fun as well um events are also pretty good um i just feel like resources obviously that's just not enough certain characters just needing to be at a1 or a3 to be useful just absolutely sucks takes away from the fact that you might like the character but if you pull for the character you can't even use them because yeah they're not going to be better than the characters you own except you go balls deep for those characters so it is what it is and I, all i have to say is uh tower fantasy has amazing characters love the game but it is time for me to move on and uh save all my time for my exams and as well as um obviously uh, uh weather raves and seven deadly sins origin um and there's a, another game i'm planning on quitting i don't really want to quit which is limbus company i love the game i still play it on the side i don't make any videos on it but i might be quitting the game in the future when the second season comes out for the game and then i think i will quit um but yeah right now i just i'm stretched for time and i don't want to spend too much playing uh, games i know in the future will 
probably go away from my account and i feel like juggling four games is way too much i feel two is best two um definitely genshin impact will be in that game for me and then nick Hay. so those two games are my main so far unfortunately counter side is also another game i am slowly i wouldn't say i'm losing interest it's just i've been playing the game for a while maybe it's time for me to switch out but i doubt i'll create um, counter side i have two accounts maybe that's why i feel um feel like i'm dragging on maybe it's because i have too many accounts on counter side but anyways tell me down in the comment section whether you agree or you understand my opinion i'm not going out saying the game sucks or anything like that the way the underwater looks absolutely fantastic the the uh, animation looks on graphics looks absolutely stunning i will be exploring the new map I will, however i won't be spending too much on it i'll do the events i get all my resources then i'm out that's all i'm going to be doing it's been a boy ac gamer stay tuned for more content on any other open world game that will be releasing for mobile and pc it's been a boy ac gamer and i'm out